Hello everyone, Mr. Merkid here, and today I'm finally sharing my new workaround for sender messages on Skype 4Com. Although this method doesn't really even use Skype 4Com anymore, um, it's pretty much should be certain that this will never ever get patched anymore because the way it works, it's using like a Skype URI. Unless they actually take that out of Skype, which I really don't think they ever will, uh, then this is going to work forever. Um, it's a lot quicker than the other version as well, um, except, well, I've got a few different workarounds anyway, so if this one does ever go, I've got another one. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get to the video. So you can see here in our old project from a few months ago, uh, this is the other fix we had. So we're using the open message dialog, and then we'd add the username there, and then we'd add the message, and then we made the function for it user in the message and we'd send it that way so now open message dialogue no longer works now it's kind of weird because out of all the dialogues in the Skype 4com this is the only one that that's broken so I'm not too sure if they watched they watched the video and they don't want it to work anymore or something like that uh, it's kind of just a theory but it's kind of weird how this one's the only one that doesn't work anymore and that's the one that we was using for the workaround so that's how we were send the messages before. Now it's kind of similar, so we'll make a new function. Again, it's going to be async as well because we do want uh, to delay the task a little bit. Private async sub, and we'll just call it uh, new message. And again, we can have the same user as a string. It doesn't change, and the message as a string as well, just like that. Now. What we actually want to do uh, is a few different things. Now, you can either, when we pass the message through the function, we can do it one or two ways. We can set that message to the clipboard. And the reason we do that, we'll set the message to the clipboard. And then what we'll do is we'll press, or we'll simulate us pressing Control V to uh, actually like, paste the message once we've copied it. That's one way. And also another way is you can literally paste your message into the send keys function and it will uh, type it all out for you. It's just the only thing is it's a little bit longer. That's why um, I use the set text method because it is a little bit quicker. That's It's just personal preference really. You can do one of the two. So we'll set the message just like that. Next thing we want to do is we're going to use process.start. And you're probably thinking why because usually you use this to open up an exe or something like that but this in this case if you ever seen the skype your eyes it goes something like this you do skype the little colon and you have the username and then you've got the question mark and you've got the little action you can either add them uh, you can call them in this case we're going to use the chat we want to chat with them and it's for the username uh, we need to make a little split in the string here and just add in our user just like that and then what that's going to do is open up Skype with the username given to the function and open up the chat with them and then when the chat opens with them it the clicker is already in the text box so then all we've got to do is go ahead and press control V and paste our little message um, so uh, just to be sure that it doesn't get mixed up we do want the little task uh, task delay in here now the timing is entirely up to you I go for half a second. It seems it seems good enough. Uh, it could probably go quicker if you really want it to, but don't rush it. Uh, don't force it to do something that it shouldn't be doing. So we'll have that little delay in to let the chat load up fully, and then obviously we just want to send keys or what do you call it? Send keys dot send, and we'll just send the this little little upper arrow. And then two curly brackets, capital V, and that will paste the message in for us. Now, of course, um, the other f thing I was telling you about, all you could do is in here is take this away and just put the message in. And what it will do is it will simulate, it will press every key in the message in the chat box. But again, that's kind of slow, so I don't really recommend it for speed in terms of speed. So again, after that. You press Control V again. We'll have another task uh, dot delay for another half a second, and after that, 
now that the uh, message is in the in the text box, we need to send it. So well, we obviously need to press enter. And to do that, two curly brackets and in capitals, we just type enter. And that's it. That's all it's going to be. So we're going to start that up. And actually, we're not going to start that up because we didn't add it onto anything. So what we'll do is we'll get a clear page. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get a button in and also a text box. Text box 52. So we're going to do new message, username, and the message. The message will be text box. 52 in my case dot text and for the username I'll send it to my test in Skype as usual intrusion Skype bot and then we'll launch it up and give that a test so I'll allow that access We'll do is we'll go over to that page and we'll enter our message. I'll just do testing for YouTube, and then as you can see, I'm not on a chat page. I'm on the home page. So I'll press send. It opens the chat, waits for a second, paste the message in, and now the message is sent. And you can do that as much as you like. Opens and it sends. And you see how quick that was. You can even decrease the times if you really want to. And that's that's all there is to it, really. Um, it's kind of simple and it should never ever get patched again but in case it does I have more fixes so I'll probably just upload them at some point and again if you want to add this to a mass message if you remember I had uh, I showed you how to do it before it's just here um, it's the same just replace this line with the new line uh, which I just showed you or the new function and you should be good to go uh, so I hope that it did help you if it did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time